How's it huffin', jankheads? Welcome back to another installment of what really is my excuse to play old Flash games, but what I like to call the best Flash game, or what is the best Flash game? And today, we have what I believe to be a very serious contender for that title. It's up there with my very favorite Flash games, personally. I think if it's this or one of the ones I've played before, Big Tower, Tiny Square is a great one, but this one is also a classic. Many people are familiar with the Papa's series, Papa's Wingeria, Pancakeria, Freezeria, Cactus McCool, no, not those, don't, don't, pay, about, don't pay attention to those. Um, people are familiar with Papa's series, however, they don't, not as many people are familiar with Jack Smith, which is a game made by the same people, I'm pretty sure at least. And it has somewhat of a similar gameplay loop, except you're a blacksmith. You play as a donkey, which is hilarious that this game is named Jack Smith because I, 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 it's just hilarious that <laughs> this exists. But yeah, uh, it's a really cool game where you get to build weapons and go on an adventure. And we are going to play some of it today to uh, see if we can take a look back on this brilliant game and see if it actually is as good as we remember. See if it deserves the title of the best Flash game of all time. My name is Jankum. Meet Jack Smith, a very talented blacksmith and his furry apprentice scout. That's Dylan. Jack Smith enjoyed his job, but horseshoes and the hinges weren't paying the bills. Fair enough, fair enough. Across the lowlands lived the royal Plumpfeather family. The Plump Feathers. Oh, God, aristocrats. Hi, King Plump Feather and his wife Hildred have ruled over the land for many years. Beyond Alpine Ridge lived a lonely wizard named Dudley. Dudley. He was obsessed with the king's beautiful daughter Liliana. Oh, fucking, we got a Redditor on our hands, dude. Using his powerful Phoenix staff and the barrage of elemental spells, Dudley kidnapped Liliana and amassed an army of vile creatures. Fucking Shredditor, more like. The king set a reward for any brave soul who could save his daughter. Jack Smith, who desperately needed the money, packed up the forge and hit the road to save Princess Liliana. I see. I, okay, I don't exactly remember the story. Jack Smith could craft a flawless weapon, but using one is not his specialty. He's going to need some help. Right, right. We're just a blacksmith after all. We're not a warrior. You can see here... Okay, this is our map as far as like where we're going and what we're actually going to be encountering. Hey, Scout. How's it going? He tells us what monsters are ahead. Three generic evils normal types essentially and we got a pig man not the zombie variety you've called the local soldiers to your cause damn right we have click to take a weapon order indeed pigmen like swords this is a pig swordsman indeed it is you can you have four crafting stations in the workshop first choose this station great you only craft swords right now fair enough long sword beautiful now, our metal selection, right. We can mel melt down all of these things, including crystal, uh, in order to make weapons over time. I think, I'm pretty sure I've gotten a crystal in this game, but I don't believe I ever beat it as a kid. You also, I think you could briefly see the, uh, the stats that we were going to get. Wait for the copper to melt. The metal is ready. Right, so you can speed it up, but you need to pour it while the metal's ready. And then I know you have to pour it slowly as to not spill. Beautiful! I mean, you couldn't ask for better than that. You need to hammer a sword to sharpen its edges. Great, we have 16 swings. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty satisfying, actually. That's a nice, like, satisfying thunk. Hell yeah. I mean, that's perfect. I didn't need all this shit. I don't even see a single goddamned blemish on that thing. Now, you build the handle of a sword by dropping parts onto it. And this is probably the coolest part of the game. Because this is where you can collect unique parts. Like, you can co just collect throughout the adventure unique parts that have different attributes and stats. And you can also make legendary weapons if you are able to... I think that... Perfect! Let's go. So this is the, the crafting portion. You can get... Oh, great. Not perfect. Unfortunate. And we're going to put you right here. Great again. Okay, not bad. 
Yeah, you can see the handle's a little off there, but solid copper sword, I'd say. So this 13, 16, and then 16 fire. I don't know what the fire came from necessarily, but I think this is damage and then this is like health or durability. So we'll finish that. Mr. Pigman, forging. Nice, got 100%. I'll take that. You wait for you wait for three soldiers today. Take this soldier's order and start building another sword. Can do, mon frere. All right, about about as good as the last one. I think a little better technically. Craft one more sword, then it's time for battle. Hell yeah. All right, I'd say that's about as good as the last two as well. Oh, that might have actually been a little bit better even. I'll take it. Time is money. If you complete the day's weapons quickly, any time remaining on your bonus meter will reward you with gems. That's right. So I'm kind of supposed to be speed running the whole time. Soldiers going to battle using your weapons. How well you built the weapons matters. I imagine it does. We can collect things as they attack. They're a little bit pixelated, more pixelated than I remember. Monsters drop loot when attacked. Hell yeah, we can collect stuff. I know we can also eventually use our cannon. Don't seem like we have access to that. We did get a unique part there. I saw that on the ground. Each weapon's durability, right? So I think if we forge everything right or good enough, then we should theoretically make it to the end of each area. Oh, I see another unique part there. Very cool, very cool. These are just normal enemies, so I don't think there's any real, like, type chart correlation happening right now. Which I do think is a decent part of this game. From what I remember, if you defeat all the monsters on a day's trial, you can collect an epic weapon design and its parts from a treasure chest. Hell yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, so if we defeat every monster, then we get an epic weapon. Right, 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 right. Cool. Today's XP, 15. Beautiful. That's enough for level 2. Is the XP just fixed? I imagine it would be, but I guess we'll see. Decent amount of new parts, too. And that epic weapon, which I do very much so want to check out. And an ad. Oh, there we go. Got out of the ad. New weapon. Simple bow. Okay. We unlocked the bow. Very cool. I believe that unlocks a new type of soldier as well, because uh, the soldiers are all... Or the weapons are all divided up by race in this game, which is kind of weird. But, hey, you know... Uh, I'm not gonna judge. I don't live here. Four monsters. Brilliant. Let's check our designs. All the epic weapon designs you find are shown here. Click the bows icon to see your design. I will. Choose a design from the list. Okay, so the epic weapon we got is actually a bow. And we have all the parts if we can use iron. Did we unlock iron? You can see the parts needed to build this weapon. And a... wait. And a if you have the parts already. Okay, uh, you can see the, the bonus effect this weapon will give you here. Plus five for all soldiers. Oh, shit. The arm, the armor piercer. That's pretty cool. And you can bookmark these parts. Right, okay, cool. Let's bookmark them then. They do make it pretty easy to build the epic weapons, which are hype. Oh, hello, Mr. Archerman. A bow. Can do, my friend. Can we use iron yet? Or press D to view weapon designs? Oh, I, that's just this. Okay, I see. Nope. Uh, nope. Sorry. I meant to do that. Simple bow. Can do. We don't have... Oh, wait. Do we? You've collected enough ore to craft a bronze weapon. It's even stronger than copper, but you have a limited supply of bronze ore. Right. I also... Oh, we only have five iron. Okay. So, no iron yet. But I guess we can save the uh, epic weapon for later. I do think saving the epic weapons and using them... Um, at specific times is crucial. Oh, I did realize I can multitask. I probably should be doing that. I'll at least uh, drain this and hold on. Go back. Hello, Archer number two. Good to see you, my friend. Another bow for you. I could have guessed. And apparently, the weapons just automatically come with a certain level of elemental power. I wasn't even realizing, but it appears to be true. You just stretch the bow. All right, we need to get them even, right? Oh, hold on, hold on. I want to put you like there, and you like there. Hold on, hold on. You like there. You like... Hold on. There we go. That's pretty good. All right, we're not going to use our special part because we need... Nice. 
How long is this thing gonna take? I feel like, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Gotta stay on top of it. Don't want our pizza to burn after all. Our customers can't fight using a burnt pizza. Okay, Mr. Swordsman, we'll get yours started as well. I guess this is just gonna be a copper sword. Could have, oh no, we didn't have enough bronze for a sword anyway. All right, copper sword it is, my friend. Now let's return to this bow. Give him a basic arrowhead and just a basic fletching. Boom, I think that was good. That might be, that might be pretty close to 100%. Oh, let's go, baby! Got a fucking perfect score. First goddamn, well, I was about to say first episode. I don't know if I'm gonna do more episodes of this. Uh, we'll see how long I go today and then how, uh, how much you guys actually like this. I'm certainly not necessarily planning on doing multiple episodes unless people are particularly wanting one. I mean, this it is really fun to be back and playing this game again. I, I can certainly admit that. Too easy, bro. Uh, too, e too easy, bro. That's way easier than I remember it being. You can use the loot you've collected for new weapons. You have a limited supply, but they give extra staff use to your weapons. Okay, sick. So these are just two random things that we found that each do different things. You know what? This is a copper sword. I guess that's kind of lame. But just to hope that he... That we can actually get the treasure at the end. Let's throw this on. A little bit of a barbarian uh, hand guard. And then, right, the actual grips are the same for all weapons. Cool. And then this gives us luck. That's kind of interesting. I think we'll keep that, though. I think that's not... We don't necessarily need that right now. That's not the best sword ever. I'll admit that. Craft five weapons. Beautiful. Thank you. I want to see my score. Fuck! Whatever. Let's finish the bow. Okay, another bronze bow. So that's something. Let's do... Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. For first try. Nice. Crafting the bows is definitely easier than crafting the uh, the swords. Oh, it didn't get perfect. But still pretty good. Pretty solid. Oh! Still gave me 100%. Oh, okay. Maybe perfect isn't that hard to get. And we got a little time bonus. That's something. We'll take it. That's something. Now, for battle. Am I going to get a cannonball yet? No. That's fine. Get in there, boys. I mean, we got some range, so I guess, yeah, they all get hit the same. Doesn't really matter that they're ranged. Weapons seem to work fundamentally the same as far as when they're actually attacking. There could be... I'm trying to remember the other weapons in the game. Um, I remember the battle axe, the shield, the pike. That's all I remember, I feel like. Um, but I think they all kind of work the same as far as just chilling, attacking, chilling, attacking. Definitely does look like we're going to win this level again, so that's awesome. I mean, we definitely want to win, I mean, all of them if we can, I guess. I mean, I mean obviously. Uh, but I would love to be able to stock up on some epic weapons to actually be able to show you guys one. Kill the spider, boys, and we'll have all that treasure to ourselves. The copper sword's getting to broken. Ooh, and one of, a couple of the bows are getting there, too. Uh-oh. Nah, we're fine. One more shot. Yeah, all right. Pig boy ran home, but the birds took it. Hell yeah. What'd we get? What'd we get? Cool. Some parts. I saw some gold in there as well. That's interesting. Continue. Oh, yeah. Let's see our actual battle score. Level two. Did we level up again? Indeed. Great to hear. Apprentice. And we found... Okay. I don't remember what emeralds are for, actually. Oh, is it? there's like a merchant where you can buy parts, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got a lot of parts, too, actually. That's, uh, that's a lot of stuff to be able to use. Okay. don't th No, thank you. Do not want Papa. Cannonball. Oh, sick. Okay. So now in battle, I can actually attack with my men alongside brave men and soldiers, of course. What do we got, Scout? What's out there? A plant, a couple slugs, and a bat. Easy peasy. Oh, hello, Mr. Goose. Hello there! I've got some items you might want to buy. Over here, click to visit Gander's shop. Gander Goose. Right, so this is where we can spend our emeralds, which we've got a pretty good amount of. Although, at the same time, we really only want to buy them if they'll give us one of these. Oh, nice, the star sword. Hell yeah. A golden sword. And it's plus six durability for all soldiers that's pretty solid 
I guess we'll try to build both of these if we can. We'll have to see how much resources we actually have. But for now, a bow, good sir, can do. Let's get that started right up. Can we use iron? No. Okay, we actually didn't get enough of any of that. In that case, we'll start off with just a bronze bow. Cool beans! Alright, gave that last bow a bit of a fancy tip, because I figured we might need it. Three bows, you know, that's not the strongest army in the world, so I gave him a little help. No opportunity to build a uh, epic weapon again there, that's a bit of a shame, but that's fine. We have a gosh darn cannonball now, which I also need to use my uh, keyboard for the first time for this, because I need to press the numbers, apparently. Yeah, okay, it doesn't do a ton of damage. Seems like it does about the same damage that one of their attacks does. Um, I'm sure the later ones will do more. I think they're also eventually elementally coded. Uh, so you gotta, like, you know, hit the right monsters with the right kind of ball. That that type of shit. But I think we'll be able to uh, tear through these slug boys. Oh, I didn't even realize he sends a rolling version of his own head at you. That is... Metal, brother. I, I support that. That's beast. That's beast shit. Alpha beast shit. And the last one. Easy peasy. Oh, Copper Boy did break. That's a little frightening. Come on now, boys. We can take him down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're almost there. We're almost there. One more hit. Yeah. Nicely done. Got me a little scared for a second, but so far, still haven't lost. Does make sense, after all. Okay, I can't cannonball the uh, chest, but hey, we got another epic weapon, and it seems like we also got a pretty cool uh, sword hilt, maybe, there at the end, so that's cool. Cannoneer, very epic, and then our total loot. We do have enough iron now to make the iron bow, so that's cool, and yeah, we got that, which is sick. Okay, let's see what uh, epic weapon we got, and what we unlocked, actually. What was the next thing that we were going to unlock? Almost to the next area, I think, so that's something. New weapon. Ah, we unlocked the double axe. Okay, cool. I didn't realize we unlocked it so early. Okay, so the double axe, and I assume the next one's a boss fight, which is a little intimidating, but pretty cool. Looking forward to it. So, what we got today, Mr. Scoutman? A bee, a bee, a snake, a snake, and a bat. Couple of big bees, couple of turd snakes, and a hairy bat. Yeah, I uh, don't much care. Ah! And it's an iron longsword. Ooh, cool. And this is plus plus six damage. That is a that is a sick sword. I guess we'll see, honestly. Whichever whether I get a bow or a sword first will depend on whether I make the barbarian or the armor piercer. Because I think we only have enough iron for one. But let's see what we get. Oh, whoopsie. Whoopsie. Let's see what we get. Who's first? Ah! It's a ram. So we need. A battle axe first. Kind of the dwarves of the uh, animal world, I suppose. That does also imply that, like, pigs are the humans of the animal world, which, I mean, and, like, birds are the elves, which, ah, uh, you know, I could fuck with that. I, I kind of fuck with it. Maybe pigs are, like, the, uh, bar like, the, 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 the orc, something like that. Okay, axe head, we just gotta do a little puzzle, it would it would seem. Oh. Okay. And then you... Oh, okay, that's for this side. Got it, got it. You go right there. And you go right there. Pretty solid. And then, okay, let's go back for now so that we can get a bow started. And we did get a bow first, so let's go ahead and make this an iron bow. And we'll make that into the armor piercer, which is cool. That's also our first iron weapon. Okay, we got a hilt. Another new type of object. A hilt. And then all three of those we're saving, so we'll give them another basic for that. Not great, but that's okay. These, on the other hand, we can use. So I'm going to give... It is a boss fight. So you know what? I'm going to bolster your damage a little bit with one of these. And I'm just going to go back real quick to order you and to grab you. Don't want our metal to burn. 
Actually, now that I think about it, what would be the problem with letting it cook for a little while longer? It is fucking iron, after all. Isn't it just gonna stay molten iron? Am I quasi for thinking that? I feel like I'm not quasi. I might even be a little based. Good stats. I think that's air? Kind of interesting that the axe gets air, but all right, I fuck with it. Any five weapons using bronze? What can I say? I'm Egyptian. Boom! Oh, look at this beautiful iron bow, my friend. Oh, perfectly stretched. Now, what did we need for this? Uh, it was this one, right? Yes, it was this one. Okay, cool. That is a pretty sick looking hilt. And then must be this one for the armor piercer. And this. Boom! Got a good color scheme, well crafted. You crafted the armor piercer, you're goddamn right I did. Solid stats and great damage. I'm sure that damage is gonna be absolutely huge for us. Hopefully I'm not burning my metal. I kinda just remembered that. Ah, fuck, I'm burning my metal. Well, shit. Shit. I, I mean, you can't, you can't make them all right. What's it gonna do to it? Oh, it's a little cracked. Ooh, that's not ideal. Sorry about that, pal. Um, I'm sure you'll be fine, though. I'm sure you'll be fine. Could scrap it, but I am selfish. And I'm also, I'm pretty confident we're gonna beat this shit. You know what? To make up for it. Nah, this bow sucks. I'm not gonna waste a part on it. Ooh, shit. <laughs> now it especially sucks. Awesome. I'll take that. Okay. Finish that up. Here you go, buddy. Seems like he's satisfied enough. 80% on forging. Not the worst. Not the worst. Couple of, couple of gems for our troubles i'll take it now for battle against the boss i presume is the bat the boss hopefully there's not like another one after that oh the damage the damage we do with that epic weapon on our team bro you can't stop us bro all right mr b man get the hell out of oh <laughs> bro whiffed nice nicely done is it at least cool that they attack differently even though it's technically like the same shit you know what i mean like at least he's jumping and slamming into him even though he's technically just <laughs> taking his time and attacking like the rest of them are Beep. cannonballs don't do a ton but at least i feel like i'm helping now so i fuck with that i guess it's technically scout up here on the up on the uh, artillery the medieval artillery that's beast okay so is this the boss it might be taking slightly less damage. Oh, uh oh, the poorly forged one is gone. It might just be our armor piercer left. Oh, we're good. We're good. Easy. Took the kill for myself. Little Ramboy ran home. And done and done. Pop that bitch open. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. What do we get? Travel to Cinder Springs. Okay, a new area. Uh, we're entering the fire area, it seems. That is interesting. Axe grinder. Okay, so the levels are. The name of the level is based off of what you just unlocked, I guess. Uh, so the levels are fixed. That does make sense. Um, cool. New epic weapon. Ooh. Damn, that is sexy. So is that, honestly. Ooh, bubberfly. Wow. And some, what is that, silver? Decent amount more iron. Nice. Good haul, I'd say. Good haul, indeed. So we're moving to a new area. Are we going to get, like, a cutscene? Or are we kind of... Beware the pig roast! I see, is that our next boss? Oh, wow, okay, so we're gonna unlock shields, boss, a new sword, maybe? And then some other stuff I didn't see? We see, start seeing fire enemies today. These are stronger elemental enemies, but some weapons and parts will help with, will help with them. Okay, cool. I actually got all fire except for one, which is a little bit crazy. What new design did we get? Another bow. Frozen arrow. Ooh, plus six ice. Is ice good against fire? I don't know. I mean, we might as well bookmark it. I guess... Okay, you're not bookmarked anymore. Good. Although we do actually have a couple of you already. But I feel like since we got a star on it, we might as well not make it again until we just, like... I don't know. Have extra shit. We do have a couple good swords left to build, and either of those would be good for this area as well. Got his order. Uh, I guess... You know what? Oh. Each weapon type has its own elemental boost. Long swords deal extra fire damage to fire enemies. Oh. So, f oh, okay. So fire just deals damage to fire. Oh. Okay, so it's not like a type chart. Um, let's go for... Oh, we don't have gold, so let's go for iron. We can make that epic sword. It was the barbarian, I believe it was. And then you, my friend. You are going to get... Could make an iron... 
axe. That's kind of beast. I guess, honestly, the, the swords are really going to be what's helping us here because they have that fire damage. Okay, now we just got to, uh, well, do what we do best. Make some goddamn weapons. Oh, I didn't even realize we have steel. So I guess we could make that special bow, but considering it just has, uh, considering it just has ice damage, I feel like it would be kind of pointless to do on a level without ice enemies. So maybe we should just save it? I honestly don't know how worth it that is. Either way, let's craft our barbarian blade, because this thing is gonna look sick. I guarantee it. As a noble barbarian myself i don't know why i said noble i'm anything but uh wait shit it was this thing right can i look at oh i can look at the weapon designs here there we go okay uh for the barbarian that guard that and that okay got it got it got it so it's this which gives us some dark damage apparently that's kind of interesting and this which gives us rock damage or earth maybe and then this which also gives us earth so that's kind of interesting, but either way, we got that damage boost, which will be very much so appreciated. Yeah, you're gonna like that, buddy. Almost 100% on that. It's hard to get 100% on swords, honestly, it is. Oh, God, oh, God, a little overcooked. Kind of forgot that was going. Whenever I start talking, I just completely forget about everything else around me. Either way, we only barely miss it. I'm sure it'll be fine. There you go. Spiced up the last bow a little bit just to give it some extra health and use some of the parts that we had. But that's another day in the bag. Kind of unfortunate we didn't end up, end up getting more than one longswordsman considering we got all these fire enemies to fight. Either way though, I think with that uh, epic damage on our epic weapon, excuse me, on our side, we'll be good to go. It does also, uh, it's pretty clear at this point that it gives you the parts you need to make every epic weapon right when you get them, which is cool. Uh, but then it's up to you to find the parts to build them for a second time, which I do kind of like. Because it let, means you can automatically see all the cool weapons that you want to see, but if you actually want to make use of them multiple times, then it's up to you. So I think that's cool, I think that's cool. Either way, we're doing pretty good so far today, I'd say. Try to keep my cannonballs going, even though I don't think they make too big of a difference. Oh, you can tell when the longswordsman hits that th that does do extra damage for sure, like a noticeable amount. They're all doing more damage because of that bonus, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The longswordsman definitely is doing the the heavy lifting here. Well done, though, boys. Didn't even get a uh, a death, you could say. A breakage might even be more accurate. They do run away. Beautiful, beautiful. Clear the trail. Kill all five enemies on a trail on five different days. You're goddamn right. I don't think we're gonna lose, honestly. Oh, wait, I skipped our loot. Well, that's fine. I mean, I'm sure we'll understand what we get. Pointed shield. Okay, right, we got another new weapon, which is cool. Completely different type of weapon, too. I uh, don't exactly remember how you make a shield in this game, but I guess we'll see. What do we got there, Scout? <sighs> tell, me, tell me the lookout. Couple of fire, couple of normal, yep, yep. Pretty no, pretty huge. What kind of design did we get? Ooh, battle axe. Literally just called a battle axe. Okay, cool. Ooh, plus six damage, steel double axe. That is hype, I will bookmark that. Probably still won't use the frozen arrow. Um, okay, yep, cool, cool, cool. We can make the star sword if we have enough gold for a sword, which I probably would be down. Uh, we can also, ooh, right, I actually have a lot. Ooh, I actually have a lot of gold to spend. Maybe we ought to get, here, we're in the fire swamp. I'll get a fire hilt. Um, and then I'll get, ooh, this has damage and health. I'll get that too, just for fun. And uh, you know what, this one too. We got a lot of money to spend. Fuck it, I'll even grab this one. We can just make some dope ass shit. Oh, Mr. Shield Man, a sheep kind of interesting that they have a sheep and a ram but okay i mean yeah 
cool, I guess. Uh, do I need to save any of this? I don't need to save iron. Oh, it's 16. Oh, I see. All right, we'll make this out of bronze then. 16 is quite a lot. That's definitely our highest. He's got a goatee! Oh! A goat with a goatee. Holy shit. Um, wait, did the battle axe need steel? Hold on. Can I see the... Am I stupid? Did it need steel? It did. It did. You know what? I'm going to save it for that. God damn it. I keep exiting out of the game. Okay. Go for... Ah, uh, we'll just go for copper on that one. Sorry, pal. But, hey, you know, I mean, even a copper shield's a good shield when made with love. And Jack Smith makes all his weapons with love. We have to paint. Aha. Okay, so you have different types of paint for, like, different colors. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Missed a little part in the middle, but that's fine. That's okay. That'll be covered up by the emblem anyway. You won't even realize. Painting could use a couple tries to kind of get down from what I am I can tell. Another shield! Um, all right. You know what? I'm still going to hope we get a battle axe, so I'm just going to make this copper again. Let's go back to here. Slap this on there. I can't cover it. All right. We'll slap it right there. Awesome. Finish. Didn't end up too great. Ah, he's happy. Oh, 95, 98. We're fine. It's lenient. It's super lenient. I don't know if that gets less lenient over time. Like, obviously, the game's going to get harder because of the enemies we'll encounter and all that. Ah, we did get a battle axe. I knew it. All right. We're making you, my friend, a steel battle axe. Now, this. Let's see if we can get this down a little bit better. Really got to move fast. It's really, it's about, like, moving fast. There we go! Oh, with some to spare. All right, that's not too hard. Now for you, pot you right there. Let me just make sure... Okay, yeah, 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 we're good, we're good. Finish that bitch up. Clearly, I don't know exactly where to put the emblem, but that was near perfect, so I think we're fine. Another shield, a bit more copper. Paint this bitch up. Nice and good. Don't have any unique shield parts, so we don't really have anything to put on you. But that is one pristine copper shield. Damn it, I cannot get the emblem perfect. What is it? Is it 90, 98? I mean, close enough. But still, I want to get it perfect. Pour the steel. This is going to be a cool battle axe. I think it was plus damage for everything, right? So similar to the barbarian. Hopefully, that means this next level will also go pretty smoothly. The axe is a little weird to forge because since you don't have the, like, markers... Oh, I fucked that up, didn't I? That's a little bit too close. It's really hard to tell. We'll see, though. We'll see. All right, let's make this thing. That is a sick hilt. You can't grab it, which could be kind of an L, but... Okay, I'm sure it's this one. Got a color scheme going on. Black and yellow. Bumblebee-type shit. And then it's this one. Okay, cool. Bop! Little hat for the end. Not a great construction on that one, I'll be honest. But we did make the epic weapon. Did get that damage boost. He's happy. Ah, oh, we're fine. I'm being too hard on myself. We're fine. Beautiful. All right, let's go to war, people. And that was a good time bonus, too. I guess I was faster than I realized. Mm. Although, theoretically, the cheaper the materials you use, the... Uh, Ooh, that was almost an insta-kill. The cheaper the materials you use, the more time bonus you'll get at the end because they melt faster. Right? So that's kind of that's kind of interesting. Taking a little bit of damage. We're dealing heavy back, though. We don't have that fire boost from last time, so I think these guys could be a bit of a problem. We have the damage boost. All right, if we two-shot two him, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. New enemy approaching. Hog's Blade. I've already seen the scarier demonic hell version of you, so you're not very intimidating, to be honest, brother. Are we going to kill him? Nope, nope, nope. Boom! There we go. Batty Basher, you know it, bish. You know it, bish. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, oh shit, we lost. Ooh, we lost a couple things, actually. Oh, this could be close. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, well done. The man with the steel axe, he rages through. That was a close one. Oh, you got a paint, I think. Nice. That was our closest one yet, though. That does uh, make me clench just a little. You can actually see what we got this time. I won't skip it. Defenseman. Makes sense. A lot of steel. Decent amount of parts. That looks cool. Another 
choker. That's epic. And another epic weapon, of course. Let's see what that is. But also see... Are we about to unlock something? Beware. The River Hoof. Oh, a water type, perhaps? Interesting. I don't think we have any water epic weapons or anything yet. But next we're going to unlock a sword of some kind. That's interesting. We want to see water enemies as well as fire enemies. Makes sense. Second one part to have water elemental boost to help fight these enemies. Oh, well, this time it's just water. Okay, cool. In that case, do we have anything for water? Plus four plant, I see. Okay, that's kind of... Oh, whoops. I meant to bookmark. Um, and then the battle axe, which, yeah, I'm not going to make that again for a while. Frozen arrow is just ice, so we're still not going to make that. And the star sword we could still make if we have gold. Um, I guess let's maybe see if we have some water stuff in here. We have this. So that's something. That's kind of that's kind of it though. Um Oh wait, this is just grips. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see if we have nothing watery in there. Uh ooh, that's a water. That's a cool water one. All right, we'll grab that. Okay, okay. So the shop was much larger than I initially uh, realized, which is good for sure. The basic shield also has fire damage apparently, which is kind of interesting. Kind of figured it would be something different, but whatever. Let's, uh, not gonna make any epic weapons today, I don't think. Unless we get a sword. We will, we will make the, uh, the star sword if we get the chance. But for now, let's see what the next guy is at least. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna make some weapons. Alright, crafted a couple uh, solid bows there and a pretty basic shield, but we did end up getting a longsword order, which I'm quite excited about. We're going to make the star sword, which gave that health boost, which I only ended up being able to put one water type thing on any of them. It was on one of the bows, so I think we're actually going to need the help of this uh, legendary weapon, if I had to guess. So, let's make sure we get it right. Let's see, we got that, that, and that. Got it, starting with this. Oh, this should be an easy one to line up. Right in the middle. What? Bruh. Uncalled for, and then it was this. Kind of an interesting choice, but I respect it. Unfortunate. And this one. Beautiful, ah, well, pretty good. You crafted a star sword! Hell yeah, our first gold weapon too, I believe. Pretty solid, pretty solid. There you go, buddy. There you go. Alright, hell yeah. Solid day, I think some solid weapons. We'll see how this battle goes. We'll see, we'll see. Got a lot of water, guys, so hopefully I have one water bow. Hopefully he helps. That's kind of all I can ask for at this point. That and hopefully their durability holds up because of the star sword. Now, a river hoof. I was told to beware this thing. So I'm a little frightened. Doesn't seem too scary. Yeah, okay. Yeah, kind of seems like the same as everything else. Maybe it's the river hoof at the very end of the level. Perhaps. Some of these things I kind of want to build in Spore, actually. Like a river hoof? That's kind of that's kind of sick, actually. I would love to fucking build that thing. I, I often want to build various things from various other games I play in Spore. So maybe, maybe I will. Who knows? Who knows? One more guy, boys. We got this. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's big. Oh, yeah, he's big. Oh, we got that durability, though. We're fine. We're gonna be fine. The shield guy might break, but not even. We're fine. The durability boost seems to be a pretty awesome one, actually. Nice. Another epic weapon. It seems like another epic uh, shield, actually. Could be cool. Could be cool. I imagine we're using a lot of shields during this area. Very nice. Level 8. The Sheep Shearer. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Two of these paints. Kind of interesting. Actually, it doesn't look like it's a shield. What is it, then? There's no grip here. Wait, if there's no grip, then what can it be? Wait. 
I'm actually confused. Oh wait, that's an emblem. Okay, it must be a shield then. Must be a shield. Let's see. Let's see. Think it's gonna be a shield. And also, are we gonna unlock? Oh, right, we're gonna unlock a new sword. The Gladius! Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, just a new type of sword, which I imagine we can just give to the pig boys. Is it up to us what kind of sword we give them? Or are they gonna ask for a specific type of sword? Is what I'm wondering. What do you got for us, boy? A couple of fires and a water. Okay, got it. What design did we get? Spade defense plus three attack. Okay, I like that. I like that quite well. Still don't want to build the peace bringer really or the frozen arrow but hey if we get a shield and i can build it out of iron then yeah let's build that otherwise gonna be building ourselves a gladius which okay cool swordsman can use any type of sword so choose whichever one has the best elemental boost for today's enemies it also seems like they unlock multiple different types of elemental boosts so that's interesting but yeah gladius is definitely gonna be better for today oh wait no no it's not oh shit well, fuck. Fuck, oh, goddammit, I clicked out of the game again. Well, I okay, I didn't actually realize that's not correct. Because there's more fire enemies, so I should have gone with the other one, but whatever, I guess. I'll uh, make a steel double axe just for fun. Oh, that's a steel sword. God, I'm so stupid. Right, the only thing I can build here is the shield. Okay, right, okay. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. So I do need to craft a double axe now. Alright, now that we did in fact get an iron shield, we can create yet another epic weapon, which isn't going to give us the elemental boost that we're looking for, but it is, I believe it was damage that it boosts? Let's put that there. Perfect, hell yeah. Spade defense plus three damage, yeah, 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 that will be good. I'm feeling pretty good overall about today's weapons and their chances of beating. Uh, we do. I made a fire sword that hopefully is going to really help us with the fire enemies. Otherwise, eh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Ooh, we got a new weapon. Okay, a new enemy. The burning spider. Couldn't quite take him out in one shot, but it got pretty close. All right. We got kind of the sun shield and the, uh, the moon shield in a way. The spade shield and the crest shield. And then, of course, the big steel battle axe and the fire blade, which should have probably been even more of a fire blade, but I made it a bit of a water blade, unfortunately. Either way, I think we're going to be fine. We're honestly destroying this. Getting that uh, epic weapon damage in there was huge. This guy, we're going to two-shot, it looks like. Oh, very nearly. Very nearly. Okay, okay. I didn't need to waste a bit of a cannonball there, but that's all right. Gotten a good amount of loot. This is just a normal guy, so I guess that technically actually means he might be harder than the other ones. Did lose our fire shield, which is a bit of a shame. That's all right. We're fine for him. Now, is this guy going to be a big boss man? It is. Oh, God. He's even more, like, burnt and shit than the other ones. I still think we're fine. Got that damage boost. He's only going to hit us one more time. Not even. Not even. Easy peasy, baby boy. Get that loot. What do we get? What do we get? Beautiful. 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 I did not see what we we're going to unlock next on the map, but I am interested in that. Sheep Shearer, what's next? Level 9. Swordsmith. Of course. I'm surprised that wasn't the first level, actually. Nice. Ooh, that looks cool. That looks cool, too. Okay. Not a ton of ore. Could be using some more of that, but... I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, okay. Now, what are we going to unlock from uh, our journeys? That should be next. New cannonball, the firebomb. Okay. Firebomb. All right, so that does more damage to fire enemies. This is hard to kind of unlearn. Like most games with elemental things, it's, you know, there's a chart. Different types do damage to different types, you know, not just <laughs> fire damage fire. Oof. All fire and water. Okay. What do we get? Strong sword. Sounds fucking good to me. Plus six damage. 
Hell yeah. Love to build it. Otherwise, yeah, that's it. Okay, well, we'll build the strong sword if we get the, the chance. Which we did. Very cool. Make this a steel long sword, I believe it was. And then I guess we'll see what else we get. Shit, wait, I accidentally made a sword when I needed to make another axe. Um, whoops, shit, I did it again! Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Is she want to scrap this weapon? Yes. Oh, okay, you can only scrap it from that stage. Okay, crisis averted, we should be fine. Oof, that one had a tough construction value. All right, well, still a pretty good day overall. I think uh, we have a good amount of elemental advantage here, so I'm feeling good. We did also get the one epic weapon, the, uh, I don't remember what the sword was actually called, but it's the sword, giving us that, I think it was just an overall damage boost again, so I think with that. All right, we have the fucking fireball. I didn't actually see how much damage that did. It did set it on fire, though, so that maybe does a bit more damage. Either way, don't need it for these guys. For these guys, are we gonna get like a water ball eventually? I imagine we'll get an ice ball, but a water ball, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that one, chief, chief man. Boom, okay. Both the axes have good uh, water value destruction, so. I still can't exactly see how much damage the fireball does. It doesn't seem like it does a ton, to be honest. Either way, we're gonna be completely fine this time. We're blowing through these jamokers. Get out of my way, Jamoker. I have no time for your bullshit. Thank you. Oh, whoops, I missed a gem. I guess it happens. Voila, a beautiful set of loot indeed. Beautiful chest, big, full, beautiful chest. Hell yeah, level 10, that's exciting. That's exciting. Bombardier. And we found a good amount of ore. Some cool looking stuff. That thing looks cool. Okay, okay, okay. And what do we unlock? Anything? Did we unlock anything? Is this just gonna be a beware of blank? New weapon. Oh, we got the, uh, the speedum? The spedum? Never heard that before. I'm gonna call it a spear. And looks like, okay, we got one more before we finish Cinder Springs. So I think, I think after finishing Cinder Springs will be a good place to end the video. So let's do one more level. Couple of fire, couple of water. Okay, this one's mostly water. Okay, something to kill water types would be very nice. What do we have? The dire blade. Okay, we don't want to make that, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Frozen arrow, the armor piercer. Don't want any of that. And don't want any of that. This could be a tough one, actually. This this could be a tough one. Maybe we ought to. Uh, we don't have anything that can kill water, so I'm, I think we might actually just have to kind of buy some stuff for water. Let's buy that. Buy one of these. Um, anything else? Oh, I can buy ore as well. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I'm not seeing any more. Ooh, okay. We do. Oh, I actually own one of those already. All right, never mind. Don't need one then. Oh, there's a water one for a shield. I reckon we'll get at least one shield. That's pretty cool, though. Ten durability. Huh. Either way, let's get this. And then I think that's all the water stuff we can buy. So we'll have to work with that. I guess, you know what? Let me buy maybe a cool guard as well, just because. We'll get... Um, high damage. Yeah, let's get... Uh, oh, that thing's pretty expensive, actually. Let's get... Get this one. Just get some high damage. Okay, what do we get first? Oh, right. The Spearman. Cool. You can now craft pikes, of course. And they have Earth as their base damage dealer. Okay. We have eight crystal. Oh, wow. Uh, do we want to use it on our first pike? Shit. Do we? Uh, it feels like a big decision for some reason. 
Um, 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 sure. Who care? Battle Axe can do, my friend. Make you a... Could do a gold Battle Axe. Pretty beast. We're not saving anything, right? Any materials? No, because we don't have any special weapons to build. Okay, we'll build gold. Go back to here, I guess, and just pump this thing for a while. Takes a while to melt solid diamond, if y'all didn't know. Uh, takes approximately 20 seconds, assuming you're smashing the, uh, the air filter thing. What are they called? Bellow. Assuming you're jumping on that bellow like a goddamn trampoline. Hello, Mr. Pikeman. Another pike for you, I see. Cool. I am actually really hoping for a shield guy because I bought that shield thing, but either way. I'm going to make this out of iron. You got here after your brother, so your brother's going to get a cooler pike. Oh, okay. Just got to hammer the shit out of it, I guess. Um, That's pretty good, right? That seems pretty covered. And then we need two poles for these things. I remember that. So that's kind of interesting. I only got one water pole, but I guess we might as well put it on the crystal thing. It's gonna stick around the longest. Okay, this guy better be a shield. Fuck! Well, that's not ideal. Um, That kind of sucks. Alright, we'll make that out of steel, either way. And we'll pour this. No shield does kind of suck. I'm still assuming four is the max amount of guys we can have. I think that's the max we've had, at least, at once. All right, let's finish the diamond, the crystal spike first with a water stick. Okay, could be better. And a water hilt. Okay, could be better. Um, some luck for old time's sake. Sure thing. And those are both going to be used somewhere else. So we'll slap you on there. And another pike. We'll use you. Brilliant. And then we just got to cap it off, huh? Cap it off. You know what? Let's give this thing, make sure it's nice and sturdy. Give it a little health cap. Beautiful. Now let's go back and make sure I'm not burning my shit. Don't burn your shit, kids. There we go. Oh, wait, we did get another. Oh, it is a shield. Oh, okay, so we can't have more than four. Well, shit, I shouldn't have used my sh uh, steel then. Wait, can I uh, get a bit of cheeky steel from you? No? Okay, well, you're a fucking stingy bastard is what you are. Hell yeah, now that is a monster of a fucking spike. It looks insane. No design consistency at all. But you're gonna like that, buddy. Trust me, you're gonna love that. Okay, so we did get a shield. Can't make it out of anything good. Ah, oh, just copper. That hurts. That hurts indeed. Either way, let's forge up this gold axe. A little bit of a bump. Axes are, they're hard to get right, but they are still a quick thing to forge. Hard to get a good score, but easy to go fast. You can just kind of smack those things together. All right, Mr. Copper Shield, you're already done. I know you are. Come on out. Uh, let's just finish up this axe first. I'm not going to use that, so we're just going to give him a normie stick. Honestly, that pike is really going to be carrying with how much axe stuff I have to use, because it is not much. You know what? We'll give you, we'll give you a damage booster, because you got a pretty good weapon type there okay that's best we can do at the moment thank you thank you that's ah, a pretty good score at least he'll have a good weapon out there mr pikeman the iron pike as it is i don't know why it starts partially forged kind of weird but uh, i'll take it cool and this is just gonna be a basic bitch of a pike i mean just a normal iron pike as normal as you can get wow that one was not good I mean, it was literally good, but still, that's not good, relatively speaking. Fuck! Okay, this one, we'll cap this one off with the health, just to try to keep keep them around. Boop! There you go. At least that one kind of looks like an actual spear that could exist, so that kind of makes me happy, I guess. Hammering 80%? What? Okay, kind of weird. Let's go to the Axeman. Mr. Steel Axeman. Uh, I'm going to put you there. Put you there but you right there easy peasy basic ass pole as it as you do as you do sometimes you just need some basic pole in your life what can i say for this uh we'll give him you know what we'll give him the luck just because it's fucking steel colored and it looks cool well can't deny it does look cool 
Pretty solid construction, so I'll take that. And now for Mr. Copper Shield. I got to admit, I'm a little hesitant. Oh, I could really make it powerful against water, though. I, I could really make it good. I mean, I guess I might as well. We're, I might as well. It's a boss battle. We're going to need all the help we can get. There you go, buddy. Nice and beautiful. And now you are going to be an absolute menace of the seas. Fish will fear you. Beautiful. Well done. Almost perfect on construction. Everything else perfect. I'll take that. I'll take that. There you go. All right. Our final day complete. Decent time bonus. Let's go to war, boys. Oh, look at them. Look at them getting in there. Hell yeah. All right. Take him down. First guy, the fire guy. Nice and easy. One little hit. Totally not worth even thinking about. I'm not going to use my firebomb on this guy. Oh, especially because they insta-killed him. Hell yeah. I'm going to do this, though. Oh. Whoops, kind of thought that was a fire guy. But I guess, you know what, we got to use the fire bombs eventually. Might as well not keep them in the back pocket the whole time. We're mowing through this pretty easily so far, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. The fire types are giving us a little bit more trouble, it seems. But the water types go down easy to my big master pikeman. How much damage does he do? Well, okay. I mean, decent amount, I guess. Getting achievements left and right, which is kind of funny that those even exist for a, like an online game. I mean, why shouldn't they, for sure, but still, kind of funny. Come on, boys. Oh, we lost the Copper Man. Well, he got one hit with his water-boosted shield. I'll take that. I'll take that. And well done, boys. Did get pretty close on a lot of them, but especially that Crystal guy. He was doing fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Another epic weapon acquired. Another group of monsters vanquished. And another area crossed through. Alpine Ridge is next. I reckon there's going to get some uh, ice types, maybe rock types, maybe wind types as well. Nice. Good loot. Good loot. And are we going to unlock something? Or is this going to be, this is going to be beware, right? Beware of, yeah, the frost feather. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. Well, in that case, I reckon we're going to end right here. Man, it is good to play this game again. I played this game a lot as a kid. I'm loving it. Honestly, tell me if you guys want to see more. I'll do more if this video does at least decently well and or I get some passionate comments wanting to see more. I will certainly do more and we'll make this our new every once in a while type of game. I think that sounds fun. I think that sounds fun. Either way, if you think this is the best Flash game ever made, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Jankheads.